Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Bianca. And I'm Colin. If you're always here, welcome back, you guys. So today we're really excited about this video. We are finally filming our couple's positive mental health morning routine. And I see a lot of just morning routines, but we have a pretty specific to the point morning routine that we like to follow every single day and instead of just filming it and putting it to music and stuff I actually wanted to break down and explain why we do what we do and how that affects us throughout the day after that whole morning passes. Before we dive into the video I did want to thank Lululemon for partnering with me with today's morning routine. It just came out with a whole new self-care line that I'll be talking about a little bit later in the video. The packaging is so cute and there's amazing products in this line. I just kind of wanted to run them by you guys really quick. So they have a deodorant and they actually have two scents of this deodorant. They have no show dry shampoo, speed up cool down body lotion, they have a sweat reset moisturizer and also look at how cute this packaging is. Just looks like this. And they also have a basic lip balm. So their self-care line comes in full-size products, but then also they have travel size, which are smaller and super cute for when you're on the go and you can just throw them in your gym bag. It's super easy. Mention and thank Lululemon again for sponsoring today's video. And let's get on with it. First thing we kind of want to really talk about is how mornings set the tone for your entire day and how you're going to feel throughout the entire day. So if you have a really bad morning, you're going to have a really bad day. So this is all about setting the tone for your mindset to be in a really positive space and then throughout the day transition to keeping that positivity. And I wanted to share a routine like this with you guys because I want it to be something you can recreate regardless if you're in a relationship or if you're single, it really doesn't matter. I want you to be able to take what we do and then put a twist on it and make it your own, but also implement these things throughout your day. So hopefully by the end of it and after a couple weeks of you doing this, you can see a positive change in your mental health and your mindset and your confidence level, like everything. So the reason we both have this routine is because we both believe it's really important for us to be positive individuals that spread happiness and joy rather than negativity and being mean and we honestly just both want to be people that represent that we want to be really kind to everyone that we can be um and we want to be really happy and make you guys happy and make you guys feel good when you watch us and watch our videos and yeah. just fill you guys with positivity and share yeah. what we've learned with you guys so that's kind of where this video yeah. comes in not only that, but it's also a selfish thing. So it's, we want to help and spread positivity to others, but we also internally want to feel good about ourselves. And by doing this routine, we also feel really good about who we are and it helps us feel more confident. Morning guys. So we usually wake up around 5.30 and Colin gets in the shower and then I like to make the bed before I start getting ready just because I'm a like type A person and I have to make it so it looks perfect. So yeah, he starts playing our motivational video. I um, just got out of bed. I'm about to make the bed. So something that we take pretty seriously is our cell phones. I used to be very not very a bad. follower of this rule that he. She used to get mad this. at me for trying to tell her about it. I, yeah, I, I it. really would because like, I thought furious. that it didn't influence me in a negative way being on my phone right away in the morning. And I thought I follow people who are influential to me so what's the problem if I'm not seeing anything negative and it's not necessarily the fact that you're waking up and looking at negativity because in your eyes you might not be but it's the fact that I've come to realize once you wake up and you go on social media and you look at your phone your mind starts instantly just like racing of oh I want to be here oh I should do this later today and that's just not what you want to be doing right away in the morning and it took me a very long time to realize that and I also noticed when I started not looking at my phone right away in the morning and literally looking at social media after the gym I was a different person throughout the day and it sounds crazy but honestly you should just try it but it's really been hard because I've been making myself compartmentalize and women are not as good as men as are women aren't as good as men are at compartmentalizing so that means when you wake up, you're getting ready for the gym. That's all you're thinking about. When you go to the gym, you're only thinking about the gym. When you leave, you're only thinking about leaving the gym. And then when you get home and you pick up your phone and social media and you start working, you're only thinking about working. So to get to that step where I wouldn't wake up and look at my phone was really, really hard for me. But then once I stopped doing that and I started compartmentalizing each part of my day, my world literally changed. I think one really good way to explain that is what I like to say is your morning 
like the very beginning of your morning and your day, you have a small box. You're inside that box. You don't open it up until you're done with your morning and your routine. So that includes everything we do in the morning and going to the gym and until we get back is when we open that box. So your morning is all about you. Do not invite anything else into your world until after that. That's kind of how I look at it. So we wake up, phones go, my phone goes in the kitchen and then his phone comes with us into the bathroom while mm -hmm. we're getting ready simply because every single morning we listen to a motivational video which we'll get to in a second. After we both wake up, we go into the bathroom. Normally I'll always start with the shower and we play the motivational video like she said. Because that is where you are putting your playlist that we have on YouTube down below with all of the like motivational videos and stuff but it usually varies sometimes we listen to positive TED talks sometimes we listen to Gary V um, sometimes it's just like a motivational video that we find randomly and then Colin saves them all to that playlist pretty much after we're done getting ready I just start actually getting ready for the gym so I'm gonna go change out of my pajamas the very first thing that I do after I get dressed is have a moment to myself where I sit down in the room, Bianca's not in here, I shut the door, and I have a moment of gratitude. Starting your day off with gratitude is super, super important because you're filling your mind with positive thoughts and they're grateful thoughts. So you're only thinking about things that you already have in your life that you're very thankful for. So mine would normally be something like, I'm very thankful for Bianca, I'm very thankful for where I am right now in my journey on becoming a better person. I'm very thankful for where my mental health currently is. I'm very thankful for where my physique currently is, where our apartment is, like how it looks. Uh, I'm very thankful for it. all that stuff, like going on vacation, so many things like that I have to be thankful for. Starting your day off with gratitude for just five minutes and thinking about things you're thankful for. And even if you're a Christian, praying and like saying thank you. Very, very good way to start your day. So his and I kind of differ a little bit too. He does his after he takes his shower and he's mm -hmm. ready for the gym. And I do my morning of um, gratitude. I call it a morning moment. That's when he's doing his. I do mine. And you can figure out what works best for you. Mm -hmm. But after my alarm clock goes off, it takes us like... A couple snoozes to get up so we said it a little early but during those snoozes when I'm half awake and as I'm like starting to wake up and like I'm laying next to him that's when I do my little morning moment so I'm saying I'm thankful for him I'm thankful for this life we created I'm thankful for um, like YouTube and what it's given me and the experiences I get to have with that. I'm thankful that for this apartment. So recently been saying to myself how proud I am of myself and um, sometimes it's easy to be in a negative mindset especially when you do YouTube and you're surrounded by a lot of hate and so that reiteration of how proud I am of myself has really helped me and it's also helped in my creative aspect of my job too. All right, so one thing I wanna do real quick is kind of break down exactly what I do whenever I go through my morning moment. Start off with attitude of gratitude for five minutes. We already talked about that. Then immediately after that, I actually have started meditating lately and really I only do it for like two to five minutes but all it is is breathing and keeping your eyes closed and not doing anything else and you're just inhaling deeply and imagine you're pulling light into your body and exhaling and imagine you're letting go of like any negative thoughts, any resentment, anything like that that you don't wanna like carry around for you with the rest of your day. And doing that honestly really helps a lot and clears your mind and just allows you to just get in a really awesome space. After that, I always go over my purpose. So. I believe it's super important for every single person to know what their purpose is because without that you're literally wandering directionless and you have no drive toward a certain goal or a certain orientation of who you want to be. So I always start with my why and normally that's to be the man my future children can look up to and also to be the man Bianca deserves and to also help others every day. So I think having something like that that you can always ground yourself in every single day and remind yourself why you're getting up, why you're doing what you're doing is so, so, so important. And I visualize that too. So if I'm imagining like 
being the man my future children can look up to. So what's something really good that I can do, like a major goal that I can have to visualize every morning. So normally it'll be like something dancing with Bianca in the kitchen and we're like married and there's like our children around and stuff like that. And like imagine like a really happy, joyful moment in the future that you're working toward. Mm -hmm. So, But yeah. that could also be like in your own relationship and that could be towards your work goals too. So you can envision yourself getting that job promotion that you've worked mm -hmm. so hard for. Envisioning yourself graduating from grad school or nursing school or just anything you've been working towards it's mm -hmm. all about putting out good energy and receiving good energy back in sitting there manifesting yeah. good things for your future and good thoughts throughout the day to just then yeah. carry it's, into it's, a positive it's afternoon. literally taking five to ten minutes to be your biggest fan mm -hmm. and to cheer yourself on to have a great day and to propel yourself toward your dreams so if you don't believe in yourself no and one else will. no one else will so like literally you're not going to be able to achieve your dreams if you don't remind yourself what you're working toward and you don't establish that and make it important and i did want to mention that our routine is intricate and we make sure we wake up with enough time to complete all these steps mm -hmm. we've never woken up and not given ourselves enough time because that's how much we value our morning routine oh yeah and if you wake up and give yourself 15 minutes to get ready and you're running out the door you're instantly just starting off the day and in my eyes on yeah. a bad note because you didn't give yourself that time and you didn't give yourself that positive reinforcement you really gave yourself no time at all yeah. and self-care and taking that time for yourself is so so important yeah. for your own mental health and your own mental state mm -hmm. and you have to start putting yourself first yep. so if that means you live with a roommate and you get up early and go for a walk in the morning just to be able to do this like if you're a freshman in college wake up sneak out of the room and just go for a walk if your other roommate doesn't like to wake up early or doesn't want to do this with you, you know? Yeah. Like, don't let other people limit your ability to mm -hmm. uh, take time for yourself and put yourself first because yeah. at the end of the day, you're the only person that matters and you are the only person who can create your own reality. So, you have to set yourself up for success in order to do that. So, it's time you start putting yourself first ladies or gentlemen <laughs> so here's my gym outfit for today i'm wearing lululemon wonder under leggings and they're the 25 inch leggings and then i'm also wearing the lululemon energy long line sports bra here's what the back of this set looks like this is so cute i'm so excited to wear this to the gym i have the link to this outfit my book bag from lululemon and the whole sweat kit link down below by the way i think the main point we really want to drive home with this video is to put your mental health in the same category as like money and relationships and family like your mental health is just as important as all of those things if not more important because if you aren't taking care of your mental health every single day then your unhappiness is going to spread into all those things. It's going to spread into how you make money. It's going to spread into your relationships. It's going to spread into your family. You're going to be a more negative person. No one's going to want to be around you then at that point. It's going to cause friendships to have friction, relationships to have friction, all kinds of stuff. But the main point is so many people don't address mental health how it should be and don't practice positive habits every single day to be better and to have better mental health and they should just like you're gonna go to work every single day. Before we became so consistent on our morning routine, we noticed those days that it didn't happen that we were affected by it and we didn't have such a good day. Or if I didn't do it, I had a bad day and I brought him down or vice versa, mm -hmm. which is why it took a couple weeks or took a, like a month, a month yeah. or so for us to realize how important it was. That's when we really paid attention to the fact that consistency helps you form good habits if you're doing good things consistently. Mm -hmm. You're gonna form good habits, and by forming those good habits, you're gonna instantly gain more success. So, once I'm all dressed and ready to go, I've already filled up my water bottle. Colin already filled up his water bottle. I use the Alani New pre-workout right now. I'm using the flavor Mimosa. Colin doesn't use Mimosa. I use Nitroflex Hypermian Testosterone Booster. Yeah, it's pretty dope for okay. guys. Some girls don't use that. Seriously, don't use that. There's, yeah, testosterone in there. Okay, I'm gonna fill up my pre-workout bottle and then we're good to go. We could unwind if you scam me, shimmy out, you shimmy in. But bump it and grind, let's go all the way, shimmy out, you shimmy in. It's really important to keep doing this. So 
not just getting to a point and being like, okay, I'm complacent now, I feel good now, so I'm not gonna do it anymore because I don't want to. <laughs> and then, if you do, you're gonna see what happens and you're immediately gonna fall back into a bad spot and be negative again. So, think about mental health and what we're telling you right now, not as a cure, but instead it's a treatment. Every <laughs> single day, this is a treatment to help you be happy. But if you stop that treatment, you're gonna start being unhappy again. So we've learned that you cannot stop. You have to keep going. So the reason we choose to go to the gym in the morning is because we want to start off our day one at our one of our favorite places. Yeah. And two, when you put your phone away and you just listen to music, have that hour or so or however long you decide to spend at the gym to just focus on you and yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's such a great mind escape. And in the morning, like you release your endorphins when you work out and stuff. It's so good for your mental health, I think, to be a morning worker outer. always drink our pre-workout on the way so by the time that we get there it kind of like have already hit us yeah. and we don't spend that much time just sitting contemplating going into the gym in the car <laughs> and then also sometimes we drive separately because I go to Orange Theory after today we're just both going to the gym I usually listen to a podcast so in the morning I either like to listen to Gold Digger podcast by Jenna Kutcher or um, she podcast by Jordan Dooley or Gals on the Go with Brooke Machio and Danielle Carolyn. So I usually listen to those in the morning and manifest with Tori Sterling. Those are the ones that usually get me really inspired. So yeah, that's basically what I listen to when I'm just driving um, alone. And Colin usually does the same. He'll either listen to like a podcast or a motivational video or stuff like that, just so we're still keeping that positivity all the way to the gym. Okay, we just did like a 10, was like, 10 to 15 like, minute yeah. walk. Yeah. Walking warm up and now we're about to go hit shoulders, thighs, and tries for my like arms basically. So here we go. our time during our workouts and spend a lot of time here sometimes that, that results in us being more on the go throughout our day when we get home so we can start working so that's why I love the anti-stink deodorant I'm using the travel size right now um, just because it fits in my gym bag a lot easier I'm using aloe lotus but it's so easy you just spray it on it I don't even care I'm spraying it on me in the middle of the gym super simple you just Colin told me I sank, so I decided to spray that on really quick. <laughs> and then also, something else I love from the self-care kit is the basic balm. So this is a lip balm for your lips, and when you're working out, you lose a lot of moisture from your lips when you're sweating. And so I just like to rehydrate, especially because I have very chapped lips to begin with. It just looks like this. 
It's so buttery. I love this lip balm. It's been my go-to. I've even been using it like outside the gym because it's so good. And then here's a close-up of the self-care lip balm. It just looks like this. We're about to head home now after our workout. We like to go home and fuel our bodies right away with good healthy food. And I know some people don't have that opportunity to work out in the morning and getting a workout in any day, any time of the day is great. But that's why we like to start off our mornings there is exactly. because we can, yeah, fill ourselves with more positivity and go do something that we love doing. It's just become a routine now. Like we don't even think about going to the gym. It's just the fact that like we're going, there's I no think, questions asked. I think it's a have to. Mm -hmm. I think we live and die by going to the gym. So if we don't go to the gym, we're going to feel like, one, we didn't do something that we needed to do. Two, we didn't better ourselves in a way we could have. And then three, we're not working toward our goals of like how we want to look and how we want to be. But it also makes us feel really good about and ourselves. And that's why we still go to the gym on our off days. Mm -hmm. Are we not sweating at all while we're there? Yes. Are we barely walking at like a three on a five incline? Yes. yes. But it's the <laughs> fact that you're in that atmosphere. You're getting to have that time to yourself. Exactly. You're in that like, space. Colin and I are there together, but we're in our own space. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like that's why we still spend our off days there is because it's so good for like us as human beings and our own mental health, but also just to better ourselves. And like we after leaving the gym you feel so good like every there's like a quote that says nothing feels better than a completed workout yeah. it's so true you know so then you're just out of yourself after you leave and all that stuff so that's mm -hmm. why we are proponents of morning working out and plus if you wait till later in the day there's a chance that you're like i am just not going exactly okay so we just got home first thing i like to do is drink body bloom and then protein and then we'll have a protein shake a little bit later but body bloom is just Sarah's Day Body Bloom. Just drink some of that. And then we also like to, we already pretty much have a to-do list, but we like to go over like our to-do list so we're both on the same page. So while I sit here and drink my protein, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about the Lululemon self-care kit. So this whole entire collection is clean at Sephora, meaning that there's no parabens, it's gluten-free, there's no aluminum, no sulfates. It's all clean products. It's also cruelty-free and sweat-tested by athletes. So these products have been put to the test after sweaty, high-intense workouts. And also, like I said, they come in travel size and full size so they're super easy to throw in your gym bag like I did. So to kind of go in depth with the products, I first wanted to talk about the anti-stink deodorant. I have the scent Aloe Lotus and I also have the scent Sandalwood. What I love about this deodorant is when it's a spray, so it's super easy, and it's also long-lasting. It's aluminum-free with natural ingredients. It goes on cooling and refreshing, and because of the spray application, it helps with the spread of bacteria. So I love this product. The dry shampoo, it sprays on invisible, so there's no white residue, and also it gets rid of odor, which I'm a head sweater. I sweat most from the head. So I really, really love this product, especially after the gym. And like today we're about to get right to work. I just spray this in, you can't even smell my hair. I have like a few FaceTime meetings, so I just wanna like get my hair looking like cute and stuff, you know? Kinda like get rid of the oils at the top, brush it out. I'm just gonna shake up this dry shampoo. I spray it in my hair. Just kind of like brush it into my hair a little bit. You just gotta work with it. I love this dry shampoo so much. So this is one of my favorite dry shampoos I've ever tried, especially for right after the gym. And it smells so, so good. I also love that it's a lightweight formula and it rebalances your scalp for less oil over time. So this is an A1 product. If you're at the gym and on the go, like you're going straight to work, the Sweat Reset Face Moisturizer is literally perfect. It has a cooling sensation, so it helps if you have a flushed face, especially right after a workout. It's safe for sensitive skin and all skin types. It's super cool to open, so it's easy to transport. It's not gonna get everywhere in your gym bag and you just twist the applicator up. It has the consistency of a lightweight gel, so it dries without being sticky or greasy. So I love this. I also wanted to mention the Speed Up Cool Down Body Lotion. So this gives you instant deep hydration and it also cools down your skin and reduces sweat lag. So sometimes after the gym when you're still sweating, this lotion kind of helps reduce it and just kind of cool off your body and just refresh you all the way around. Okay, so I've made my shake. We have completed our morning routine. We're about to sit. Colin's already working down there editing. <laughs> like a little work rundown of what needs to happen today drank all of our breakfast and now we're ready to go so i think to wrap up the conversation 
one thing to think about, I was watching a video earlier today and it was talking about the key to happiness and it listed off like money and marriage and relationships and all these things and I think those are all important but I think truly the way to be happy is to put your mental health as a priority just like everything else. I think that doing stuff like this every single day and actually caring about how you feel instead of just brushing it off and pushing it aside is what's gonna make you happy in the long run and then also help all those other things. We hope you guys liked our morning routine and I really hope this helped somebody out there in some way, shape, or form. Feel free to share this video with anyone you feel like needs it because I needed this video shared with me like months ago. So yeah, it's- Even though I told her. Yeah, it's okay, I'm stubborn. But <laughs> your life can literally change in a week, you guys, if you start doing those like positive habits now. And so. don't stop, don't wait do it now. The longer you wait, the more likely you are to just not do it at all. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be disciplined with anything in your life, it's this. You need to be. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stick around and join this family. And thank you so much. <laughs> And thank you so much again to Lululemon for sponsoring today's video. Everything you need to know is going to be in the description box below. You should go check out that sweat kit because that is essential to your mental health too, okay? <laughs> Seriously, smell good, look good, feel good, be confident. We love Lululemon. Thank you so much. That was an amazing opportunity. I'm so happy I got to share this video with you guys. And we will see you guys in my next video.